I'm Dave Nguyen, and in this episode, we're going to do a science news fact check. In 2010, a scientist by the name of J. Craig Venter and his team made a major breakthrough. They created the first cell that had a purely synthetic genetic code. What his team did was to create the DNA for a cell all in a test tube and then introduce that DNA into a cell that had its original DNA removed. Many headlines and newspapers claimed that Venter had created life. One of my friends even asked me over lunch if this were true. My answer? Not really. While Venter's triumph was novel and unprecedented, he only succeeded in creating synthetic life and not life from scratch. What he did was analogous to somebody writing a new version of Microsoft Word and then installing it on a computer that already had Microsoft Windows operating system running on it. While the new version of Microsoft Word is impressive, it would be misleading to say that the programmers created a new computer since the hardware and Windows operating system were already there. The incredible thing about living cells is that they contain information both in the DNA and the protein and lipid parts that house that DNA. There's actually more information in the architecture within the cell than there is in the DNA housed in that cell. I would say the same for the architecture outside of the cell, but that's for a different episode.